Hey guys, Killer6 here, and by popular demand, I am bringing you my guide to the best handguns in the game. You'll notice that I do not show footage of every handgun in the game, and that's because this video would be far too long, so I filmed and documented everything, but only included the footage of the top performers, so let's get started. First up are the Jacobs handguns. The Rex is very powerful, but if you do not have lethal accuracy, as I do not, then the time between shots could spell your doom. Now the Maggie. This one is nerfed on the consoles and as such does not do as much damage as it's supposed to do. Perhaps the next patch will fix it, who knows? Gearbox is kinda mum on the whole thing. So in its place I have included one of the better, better purple variant Jacobs handguns, the Iron. This one works a lot like the pre-patch Maggie minus the multi pellets, has a smooth fast shooting action and a quick reload. And, you know, I found it to be probably, uh, you know, actually, definitely, I found it to be the, the better of the Jacobs handguns in this uh, competition. Now on to the doll handguns. The Hornet was one of the better corrosive guns that I used in this test, and it performed better than I expected against enemies who were resistant to corrosion. But, having said that, I, you know, this is for the, the best all-around handgun in the game, and corrosive guns probably aren't going to be your best option. Next up is the Gwen's Head. The problem I had with this gun is that if you do not get headshots then the gun is kind of worthless. All the body shots are really low damage and the accuracy on the gun takes some serious getting used to or maybe I'm just a bad shot. And the teapot. This one is comparable to the Hornet. It did well considering the resistance of the enemies here. It has a good fire rate and low recoil. But all in all I'd say the, the most consistent performer was probably the Hornet. Teapot maybe a close second. Now to the bandit handgun. Yes, I said that's singular. The gub is the only bandit I used for this because the tinderbox is far too weak to be considered. Add to that that it's fire only and it quickly becomes one of the least desirable options on this list. The gun on the other hand, the gub, performed okay. I would like the feel and the sound that it makes, other than that, not so great. Now to Malawan. Malawan makes some nice elemental handguns and the problem with that is, well, they're elemental. The idea of this gun test is to find the best all-around gun for any given situation and it's hard to justify an electro, flame, or corrosive weapon since they will encounter resistant enemies far more often than say a slag or explosive or non-elemental uh, resistant enemy. What I liked about the Thunderball Fist was the damage over time and good smooth ease of use and the little Eevee was comparable but if you see my assassin build then you know that the Eevee has some hidden bonuses. I'll put a link below for you to check that out. Now to Hyperion. These guys manufacture the Fibber, and as such I want to find their factory and burn it to the ground. I really hate this gun. I really, really hate this gun. I've used the redundant version, the others, it, oh, aiming at the floor to kill enemies is not for me. That said, it can be very powerful if you have the right version. The Lady Fist on the other hand is a smooth, easy to use handgun that deals massive amounts of damage. I did a Siren build video a while back showing one of the ways to maximize the potential for that gun, so link in the description below if you want to check that out. And as you can see, the top performer there was Lady Fist. Now to Vladoff. There really wasn't much point in testing anything except for the Infinity, but I did anyhow. And the Veritas is not a bad gun, but every Vladoff lives in the shadow of the Infinity, so unfortunately it didn't make the cut. Same held true for the Anarchist and the TMP guns. They just, you know, they're good guns, but compared to the Infinity, they're, it's just not much point. <laughs> So, the Infinity is, well, you know, I know, it's arguably the best handgun in the game. Unlimited ammo, fast fire rate, but the problems with it are ease of acquisition, legitimately that is, and the bullet spread pattern. This gun shoots in the shape of an Infinity symbol, which is a cute little novelty, but it can be a problem when you're trying to be precise. But as you can see, the Infinity is the best add off. And we shall now move forward to TDR. TDR only had one legitimate candidate, and that was the Gunnerang, and it wasn't much of a candidate either. The Gunnerang is another novelty gun. When you reload, like with other TDRs, you throw it. But the trick to this one is that if you don't hit an enemy target, it will chase you down. Do yourself a favor and throw this one away. Literally. Now to Torg. As most of my viewers know, I am a big fan of Torg guns, the Unkempt Herald, the, the Ravager. These are two of my most frequently used guns, and for this test I used the hard prefix version of the Herald, and it still performed admirably. I also tested the hard Devastator and the hard Pocket Rocket, but they were nowhere near the Herald, so I didn't even include them in this footage. But, 
As you can see here, there's uh, this. This is just crazy damage. Now to the firing range for the top performers. With we'll start with no uh, B or badass rank. And I'll note the added up damage counts on the chart at the end of the video. And I will be silent through this part so you guys can watch. As you can see from the chart, the Unkempt Herald outshines all the other guns by a wide margin. There are some advantages to other guns, though, that don't show in the numbers. For example, the Infinity with its infinite ammo is probably the most reliable gun for any situation, and that's what I was trying to find here. A non-elemental Infinity can be used anytime, anywhere, with great success. The Evia, as I stated previously, grants a hidden bonus to your skill tree cooldown, and the Unkempt Herald does occasionally encounter resistant enemies, but explosive resistant enemies seem few and far between. Again, we come back to the ease of acquisition, and the Infinity is one of the harder guns in the game to get a hold of legitimately, whereas the Unkempt Herald and various grip sites and prefixes can be bought straight from the Torg vending machines. As such, I'd have to declare the Unkempt Herald the best all-around gun in the game. Thanks for watching, guys. Please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. Subscribe for all my future videos, and add this to your favorites for quick and easy viewing. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think is the best handgun in the game and why. Take care, guys.